get this video to a thousand likes and we'll do a uh, tug of war with this versus my Duramax. Alright guys, so as we wait for all the stuff for the Duramax to come in, um, we're going to go ahead and get started on the Maverick. I got a few things I think I already showed you guys. Maybe I haven't showed you the box, like the goodies I got from uh, Evolution Power Sports, but that's what we're going to be working on here today. We're going to be doing a newer fuel pump on it. We're going to be doing um, charge tubes, blow-off valve, and then installing the ECM back into it. So uh, we got a few things we got to do. We can't just install it and be done with it. We got um, a few other adjustments. I got to adjust the crack pressure on the wastegate. So we got to raise it up a little bit. Let's go on, head on over there and get started. I'm going to be starting the takedown on that thing, the teardown, pulling out the old turbo, get everything out of the way, get it all prepped. And then, um, you know, maybe I'll put the new turbo in tomorrow. But I'm not too sure. I, I'm still, like I said, I'm still waiting on quite a bit of parts. So um, I don't want to get too far into it and just have it sitting there. But I think that's what I'm going to do. Get the intake out of the way, get the old EGR off, or the EGR delete from Sinister. Um, get that off and get all everything else out of the way. That way, whenever the stuff does show up, everything's ready to go. You know, it should be a lot easier process. So, um, yeah, we're gonna go ahead, head on over to my parents. That's where the Mavericks sitting sitting in their garage right now, and uh, we'll get started. It's a 45 footer. I showed you guys in a couple of videos ago, I think. But uh, yeah, it's a monster. I'll do it. I'll do a video on this thing one of these days if you guys want to see. Um, of course, it's a big diesel. It's got a huge ISM Cummins in it. So you guys can see it from here. I'll open that here a little bit. But that's not what we're doing in this video. Here is the focus of this video, guys. I know, I know my Maverick videos and Shoot, a lot of my videos aren't getting that good of views, but uh, I hope you guys, the ones that do watch these videos, I do appreciate it, and I hope you guys do enjoy these. I'm doing my best to put out the most, you know, diverse content I can, you know. So, this is what we're going to be doing. I'm going to go grab all the stuff inside. I'm going to grab the new tool I got for, well, I didn't really get it. It's just the loaner. All right, guys, so here's what we got. Um, I borrowed this from Advanced Auto. It's a vac vacuum and pressure gauge, so it's going to help me read the crack pressure on the wastegate. And uh, got the 2018 Maverick fuel pump. We got the blow off valve here. Got the charge tubes. And you got the new freshly tuned ECM right there. Should not be too bad of an install, of course. Uh, you never know. All right, guys, so first things first, I'm just going to use my phone here. It's going to be easier. I got the middle section off right now. There's the old turbo. Um, wastegate actuator right here. We're going to be pulling this off um, and getting it off off there and then we are going to be pulling this right here off putting that pressure pump on there and then we are going to be adjusting the crack pressure so we got to take this jam nut off and we're going to be rot rotating this uh, I believe if you shorten it it will make the pressure higher well i knew that was there's always going to be a snag in everything this pump is creating no pressure whatsoever uh, i think there's something wrong internally with this stupid thing of course it's a rental from uh advanced auto but uh, i figured it would work it's not creating any pressure at all you know i have the real really tight seal on it too i mean you can even put your finger at the end of it or anything else at the end of it and it's just not it's not creating any pressure. I don't even think this thing goes up to the right amount. So it's pretty stupid. But we have other things we can do. We can uh, go ahead and knock out this, the fuel pump. And then get started on the charge tubes. That should be pretty easy. It's just going to be, the hardest thing about that is going to be getting to everything, which shouldn't be too bad. All right, so we got to pull off the plastics around the fuel tank. The fuel tank's right here. Pull this windshield off. Got to get right under here also. Looks like we got a 30, T30 Torx, and uh, a few pins right there, and that should be enough to get access, I think, hopefully. All right, I gotta find a 
towel of some sort or a paper towel or something just kind of lay down here because there's going to be fuel that you know gets everywhere right here i'm going to pull this clip off here i'm going to pull this one off this is going to spin and then uh this whole unit is going to come right out with the new one right there drop it in should be good to go as far as that goes all right guys so we got the connection off there got the uh other connection right here, the little plug. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna rotate this cap counterclockwise. I might have to get two hands on it. All right, I got the old one out. I got it sitting over there on the concrete. Man, I will say, I don't know what it was, but like that fuel in there was nasty looking. Ugh. And it could be something to do with the hurricane, being that there's, I don't know, it was just, I used this during the hurricane. I haven't really used it much since. And uh, that gas looks horrible. So I'm gonna drain this whole tank and I'm gonna go ahead and, and get all brand new fresh gas. Um, I just ordered a new pump. Like I said, this one was borrowed right there, that one. And I ordered a Mighty Vac. That's what they recommend anyways. So that should be here, not tomorrow, but the next day, I hope. Yeah, then we should, uh, this thing should be good to go by Monday. It should be done today, but of course that pump is really holding us back. I can get most of the stuff done today and you guys will see that in the video. And then the next video after this, you'll see me fix the uh, crack pressure on that. And then of course, if this video gets 500 likes, we're gonna see how, if this thing can even, I, I don't know if it will, but we're gonna see if this thing can tow that motorhome right there. Um, that's my parents' new motorhome. It's a uh, 45 footer. It weighs right around 50,000 pounds. It's like 48.7 it weighs. Um, loaded down, I'm sure it's over 50 something. And uh, yeah, it is a beast. Like those tires are bigger than the tires on my truck, my Duramax. So um, it's a monster. I don't even know if this one will budget, but we'll see. I think it'll be a funny video. So uh, right now I'm gonna siphon all this gas out. That way it's just done with because I don't want to deal with that again. So um, I'm going to go ahead and do that. We're going to go ahead and grab the new fuel pump over there and put it in, and that should be done. We're in a brand new fuel pump right here, so might as well just do all new fuel. It makes more sense. So um, this is next. Should be uh, fairly simple. All right, that's all done. All we got to do is tighten up this little brace right here. Uh, pretty easy. We just gotta put all the plastics back on. We're done with the fuel pump. All right, next is we're gonna be doing the blow off valve here and the charge tubes. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this and we we'll started. So we got the uh, this off the turbo there. Now we gotta get these, the rest of the charge tubes off right here. I already got this little band clamp off. Gotta get the zip tie out of there. And then uh, I gotta undo the other band clamp on the other side, and that should be able to just pull right out. And then uh, it should be as easy as putting a new one in. All right, so here's the old charge tubes here. Pretty dang dirty. And of course the new ones are right here. Literally the same exact process, only we're gonna be using these T-bolt clamps, a little stronger, um, just better, way better. I mean, these are really cheapy kind of, they work, but these are very good. The Husky's drinking out of the pool. Using the main camera now, my phone died. <laughs> Uh, I just didn't want to use this because it doesn't really fit in the tight spots down here. But um, this thing's getting almost all ready to go. I got this little, uh, just like a little block off you want to use, like a boost boost gauge here. I don't have one just yet, so uh, I'm going to use this little block off they supply. You got a pinch clamp, but just put that on. Uh, of course, the blow-off valve is going to go in here. Get your vacuum line on top. And uh, it's pretty much ready to go. Evolution Power Sports supplies really good installation instructions, so um, it's pretty straightforward. You really don't even need it unless you know you're new to this stuff, of course. But you know it's pretty straightforward stuff. Um, here's some more pinch clamps. There. Um, what else? 
All right, so here's the blow-up valve. You got the pre-filter on it, Evo Power Sports. Uh, I zip tied it down. They, they provide that, and then you got the vacuum fitting up through the top of it. So almost ready to put it on. All right, guys. So clearly it's nighttime. I want to kind of do a little overview of what we got done. And of course, it's not completely done just yet. You know, we got to change the crack pressure on the wastegate there, and we got to bump it up to eight pounds. Like I said before, the vacuum pump right there is not working properly so I'm waiting on a new one to get here and that'll be a different video when I do that because that'll be the day I fire this thing up and uh, we see how she does but what we did today was the charge tubes blow off valve and you know got all that stuff up in there I don't know if you can see let me see if I can get a light on it um, charge tubes are like the shiny black in there and then blow off valve is right there there it is and so that's all good to go there and then of course as you guys seen early on in the video i did the 2018 fuel pump and it's very easy you got the two clips there the little push pins pull them out then you got the t30 you know the torx bits uh, one two three four five of them and this one's got a nut on the back and it was as easy as pulling the old one out you just, it's got two connections, one's fuel, then one's your, your power plug to it. And uh, you just disconnect that, pull it out, make sure you don't lose the gasket. And put the new one in, make sure it's clean, drop it in, screw it back down, and good to go. I'll test that here shortly. I don't have the ECM in just yet. Um, I could probably run it here once I put the ECM in, but I, I do need to adjust that crack pressure. And so... That's what we're gonna be doing probably in the next video. Maybe not the next video, maybe the one after that. But there it is, that arm right there. I showed you in the beginning. That needs to come off, or well, at least off the uh, wastegate there, and then we'll adjust it. So that's where we're at, guys. We are pretty much, all the uh, hard stuff is done, and none of it's really hard. It's pretty easy stuff, but uh, that's all done. The ECM right here, that's going to be simple. It's not much to, you know, installing it. It's two, what was it, two bolts? I think it's three bolts. It's three 10-millimeter uh, bolts, and then you get the two uh, plugs right here. Pretty easy stuff. Not really too worried about that. Um, that can go in whenever the wastegate's all done. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. I'm just trying to keep the content going. Probably the next video after this one is going to be the start of the teardown of the Duramax, and so uh, if you're new to the channel, we're doing a 68 millimeter uh, turbo, Ryan's diesel service turbo in the Duramax, and uh, I'm going to do a step-by-step -step install on that, as well as some of the takedown process as well. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that, and uh, I'll keep you guys updated on the, on the X3. Once this thing's complete, we're going to be taking it out to the hunting lease, and uh, we're going to do some tests. Maybe we'll run the Raptor out there with this, and do like a side-by-side -side comparison and see what's see what handles it better so I hope you guys enjoyed this video a little update for you and uh, yeah if you're new to the channel and you're a side-by-side -side fan or off-road fan or whatever definitely hit that subscribe button and uh, definitely give this video a like as well please it definitely helps the channel and uh, I would really appreciate it so yep thanks for watching guys and we'll see you next time <laughs>